joining me, our science editor, Sibu Kumar Tripathi, for the latest on that. Sibu, you've been tracking ever since this was in the works and now it's coming to conclusion. But tell me, as the viewer must be wondering, it takes 22 hours, approximately one full day, for the, the crew to return. What is this process like? And uh, tell us about the protocols being followed. Uh, so, Pooja, at the moment, the spacecraft is flying at about 400 kilometers above the planet. Uh, it recently undocked from the space station. It was a picture-perfect undock uh, that was conducted by SpaceX and NASA teams. Mm. Uh, the Dragon spacecraft is completely autonomous, so there will be no human intervention in the spacecraft in the entire flight trajectory. Uh, for the next 22 hours, it will be in a flying uh, position. It will be rendezvousing with the planet, uh, aligning for that uh, critical uh, re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, tomorrow at about 3 p.m. is when we are expecting the splashdown to happen. Now, the 22-hour long journey is important because, the first, first of all, today the, uh, the spacecraft will have to move away from the space station. Now, these are done, done in a phased manner. So, in multiple phases, the mini engines on the Dragon spacecraft will fire up, they'll be activated and will push the Dragon spacecraft from away from the International Space Station and gaining its own speed. Uh, tomorrow is when uh, the, uh, the trunk of the Dragon spacecraft will be removed. Now, the trunk is the outer part of the space station, which, is, uh, uh, which has the solar panels which were charging the, uh, the entire spacecraft. After that, it will be on internal power, uh, on autonomous flying, and then the re-entry will happen tomorrow at around uh, 2 o'clock is when we are expecting the re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere to happen. Now, this uh, re-entry in itself is highly challenging. Uh, because of the friction in the atmosphere, a plasma buildup happens and there will be a brief loss of communication between the spacecraft and the, uh, uh, the NASA and the SpaceX team here on the ground. Uh, once that loss of communication is achieved, once the that time period is over, uh, they'll come back into communication phase and then when, and that's when the, uh, the drogue parachutes will kick off and the Dra Dragon spacecraft will be slowed down for that picture-perfect splashdown in the Pacific Ocean. So for the next 22 hours, it's going to be jam-packed flying for the four astronauts. Uh, they have completed over 250 orbits of the uh, Earth when they were on the uh, space station for the last 18 days. Uh, they have conducted over 60 experiments for across 31 countries. So overall, this has been a highly successful mission for not just India, but for 31 countries across the world. This was a collaborative mission between Correct. NASA, SpaceX, ISRO uh, and the Axiom Space. And we are finally in, into that last phase when the mission is going to conclude tomorrow.